Monsieur le Président, aujourd'hui, d'autres allégations explosives d'inconduite dans le plus en rang de l'armée ont été mises à jour. Cette fois-ci, le plus haut gradé s'est retiré le temps de son enquête. Tout ceci sur la surveillance de ce ministre. Est-ce que le ministre de la Défense est au courant de toute autre allégation d'abus de voix, inconduite sexuelle ou d'autres comportements inappropriés par des officiers seniors? Honorable ministre. Mr. One, Mr. Speaker, one thing I can assure the member is that we have absolutely no tolerance for any type of uh, sexual misconduct. That regardless of the rank and regardless of the position, we will take actions. We want survivors to come forward so that we want them to know that they will be heard, that, the, that, their, um, um, that things will be investigated. Um, because, Mr. Speaker, we have absolutely no tolerance policy and we will take action. Thank you. The Honourable Member for Aurora Oak Ridges, Richmond Hill. Mr. Speaker, General McDonald was the person in charge of eradicating the very behavior he is accused of. This leaves military members wondering if justice can actually be achieved. A safe and thorough independent investigation is critical, but senior officers who may themselves be complicit remain in key positions within the chain of command. How will the minister ensure that compromised senior officers are not interfering in these investigations to protect themselves. The Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, I can assure that the member that every single investigation, every allegation will be investigated thoroughly, independent from the chain of command, and regardless of position and regardless of rank. We will take the appropriate action because we owe it to our members. And I want to commend the survivors who are coming forward so that and to let them know that they will be heard and that their allegations will be investigated. Thank you. The Honourable.